Well, here we are. Something new. Well, not new really. There's plenty of pedal sets around. This one though seems to be tailored a little bit more toward helicopters. And uh, it doesn't have centering like most pedal sets do. But this one has got the uh, a bit of a, an unusual arrangement. It's got a gear in the bottom of it. So when you use it, one pedal goes forward, one comes back. Down inside it, it has a, a gear on the bottom of this leg. And then that connects down inside to a, another gear that sits underneath and rotates. And all it uses to, to mount it all are standard 608 bearings for skateboards. So two in there, two in each leg, and that's it. So a total of six bearings are required. There's some 8mm rod that just runs through the middle. And that can be locked with a screw there if required. And then what happens is this, this part, as you can see inside there, sits on top. So in between these two, at the bottom here, uh, stuck against this bottom side, is just the loop from Velcro. And then once you, you get that on, you coat that with grease. But this has been damaged because I had to get the magnets out of this prototype. But down inside it, you mount two 5mm by 5mm magnets and uh, they're poles um, so you'd have a north pole here and a south pole here facing one another so they're attracting that you pull them apart that's critical that you get them mounted like that down inside it then there's this little slot that runs through and in that you mount the Hall Effect device and that's what's underneath there. So this is located, once you've got the bearing in there, there's a bolt you can see in the center, there's a the hex from a bolt. You just put an eight millimeter bolt through from this top, right through this section. And it really doesn't pull any weight onto anything. It's just a locating device. And so what happens is when you put this rod through, it pushes down onto the grease and squeezes it out. As you can see some blue grease coming out the side there. And you have to press it down before you can push that rod all the way through. And that gives you a bit of resistance and control. So, so far as centering goes, if you want to center it, what you can do, you can imagine this is my foot in my shoe. So you can just put it against it and push both pedals at the same time. And that'll give you your centering. So it's very easy, much like they do in a Robinson helicopter at the present time. So it comes out just on the three wires, plus five. I've just got it screwed down to this board. Plus five and signal and, and negative. What you hook it up to is going to be for you to work out. I've got it running on an Arduino. But that's the go. Um, the other material that's used in it that's not printed is this aluminium extrusion which is just 25 millimeter external 23 millimeter internal square tubing that's used in lots of display furniture and things of that nature and these just push in now if you don't want to print these pedals what you can do this is 80 millimeters long you could set that to any length you want of course and that gives you adjustment and oh by the way this Camp this um, gear set down in here on the model that'll be on Thingiverse, it'll have an extra two teeth so you can put these in at a different position if you want with regard to uh, where it is now. So I've only got one set of teeth now, but you'll be able to set it either further forward or further back by one tooth and that'll give you a different angle of attack. So, as I was saying with these tubes, what you could do if you don't want to print these is to uh, get a 150 millimeter, say an M8 bolt, 150 mil, and two nuts and washers and so on, and just drill this through and mount the rod out here, and that could become your pedal. So this it's a simple device, and it uh, works really well, nice to fly with, 
and of course if you do use one you've got to bear in mind that it's printed plastic so you don't want to load it too heavily but uh, it works very nicely so i will put the files on thingiverse hope you enjoy